the heck? Let's see if I can get it again, okay. What's your name again? Dick. Okay, how do you spell your last name? Okay. Now, if you were talking about somebody who got arrested, what was his name again? Calvin the what? what? Griffin the what? Griffin Bart. Okay, now. How did you break your arm? Skateboarding. Skateboarding. Straight over the ground. Very close to the ground. And where did that happen? Skateboarding. Okay, now, let me ask you something. I know she's got a skateboard park here. Skateboard here. Yeah. So what you're saying is broke on her will not be able to skateboard, right? Yeah, it might be crazy, but... But what you're saying is it's not scaring you away. It's like if you fall off the horse, you get back on that horse, right? Yeah. You're letting that horse know that you're going to rule the horse, right? Am I correct on that? Yeah. Okay, now, so, what's his name, Rodney, what's his name again? Rodney Park. Park, okay, and your name is what? Okay, now, so you're saying Rodney Riffin Park got arrested for skating down the road. Okay, now, let me ask you something, was that an emergency? Was he putting anybody in the clear, direct danger or anything like that? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so you say, how long did you say it took, how long did it take two years to learn to do a kickflip or something like that? Okay. So what did you first start doing when you first learned to do a kickflip? What was the first thing that you started doing? Do what? Flicking your foot. your foot. And then when you get the coordination of being able to, uh, you know, the, to be able to take it and, and have it to where you can flip that around. Are there, are, are there different steps that you have to go through first? You have to master one step, then another step, then another step? Solid. Jump Huh? Uh-huh. But it's something that, how many thousands of tries do you think it took you to get where you could do a kickflip? A lot, a lot, right? Yeah. Now, when you're doing these, you don't have no, no, no crowd of clapping seals, do you? But what I mean is, is, you skaters, a lot of times, you don't have no crowd around you, do you? Really? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of people have to do a lot, but I mean, it's like, it's like, you know, a lot of people I find what they're basically is they're advertising the wars. In other words, they won't do anything unless the TV cameras there. You know? Right, right, right. And you said you can't record the cops? I mean, I film every now and then. Like, I usually roll around with the camera, but I haven't got any, like, direct footage of the cops like well, listen, don't you think that if, if, if cops are going out of their way, when you say that they're, committed, they're, they're creating a crime, stretching, stretching the crime, creating a crime, when they're arresting you, you said that uh, Rodney Rippenbart was arrested and they took him down to the Bay County Jail, right? Now, when they did that, I wonder, I wonder who, who might have gotten murdered. Uh, was that, was that, was that something to where it was, uh, expedient, that this person was a clear direct threat to society in any way whatsoever? Okay, don't you think that maybe if a cop is not needed, is overstaffed, if he is going out of his way to arrest somebody, or, what would the average person think? Would they, would they be startled and call 911 because you were skating down the road? You actually had people dial and call the cops on you? Why? Why? How? In what way? Let me ask you something. Are you any more of a nuisance than these boom cars that go up and down the road that you can hear a mile away? Now, what's the reason why the cops can't get in them? Yeah, they are out of here in a moment. We usually stick around for a minute. If we're skating something, we'll be in there. That's what we do.
Okay, first of all, number one, what kind of damage can that board do to cement? Right? And then on top of that, release state shop, they pay 1% to, to, to add the privilege, this is actually a racketeering organization. The idiot clowns charge them 1%. They're saying, look here, you ain't getting shit until we get our 1% first. If you tell me that ain't racketeering, what do they provide for you? What do they do? I mean, just to Now, did the parents, did they, did they raise hell about the fact that their, that their, their son was arrested? Yeah. And what, what came out of it? Why? Well, what's in team court? You know, it shows you, it shows you the shark swimming around there, the lawyer swimming around there, like sharks or something like that, to intimidate you. But in the meantime, meantime, these super loud car stereos can go up and down the road, destroying people's rights to live in peace. But they can't find them. They can't make money to boom cars to run, okay? 806 is interference with emergency vehicles. 874 is criminal gang civil instrumentality. Did you know the cops they swear those to support and defend the Florida Constitution? Article 267 of the Florida Constitution says unnecessary noise will not be tolerated. The cops can arrest every one of these punks in the 3015 of the Florida statutes that truly put the people in danger. 932 Contra, man, they can take away their vehicle. Did you know that? But you didn't know that, did you? Huh? They would rather pick on a spader, right? Yeah, huh? Yeah. That tells me they ain't needed, right? No. I don't think the control car is going to No, what I'm saying is they're overstaffed. Yeah, they if they're going around, you know, somebody's probably drinking the beer or something like that, or somebody's, you know, sleeping in the... My God, they're sleeping in the park. Oh, my God. That's, that's the worst thing you can do in Panama City. Did you know that? Close your eyes. And yet, at the same time, if you're asleep, what crime can you commit? The only thing is, is you might have a crime committed on you. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, did you know the couples, when they, it has on the sign there in McKinsey Park there, no alcohol. But when the couples come in with their coolers and they decide, when they have the music fest in the, in the McKinsey Park, they sure, all of a sudden, they, they get blind. They can't figure out where the alcohol is. When they hold the Oktoberfest, they allow thousands of people that only need to go down the road drunk. Huh? That's how they make money. Make money? In other words, risking people's lives? So, so here's the thing. Let's get something started. All right. See, can we get recording cops on top of that? Let's get something started to where every time a cop comes up and say, hey, what's your salary, man? What do you want to know? What do we want to know? We're going we're gonna to put skateboard park and We thought you might want to donate. You ain't needed in the first place. Huh? See, here's the thing. When we have the attitude, I don't care about anybody else, you're next. You're next. But when you, see, we gauge society on how well we take care of those who can't take care of themselves. You know, I can't tell you if somebody's going to be homeless. Nobody knows. Hey, the defense says, hey, how many people? Hey, my friend, how you doing? Uh, I'm state of Texas. How many hiding commies who could get their tickets fixed and everything like that died in the Texas flood? Don't you know tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes are made for those people that are in power? Who can do what they want? They can bend all the rules. They have the cops at their beck and call. They're in hell now. They had a chance. See, if you have this attitude, can I get your name again? I got Alzheimer's from a second. Yeah, I know you changed your name. You changed your name. I got it. Okay, well, anyway, hey, hey. Uh,